Good morning. This is Ed Smith with Universal Digest. I'm here again with Lester Moon of Hands in the Community. Uh, due to the COVID-19 situation, uh, a lot of people have been having problems economically. This noble nonprofit organization is in deep trouble, and we are putting this on to uh, help where we can. So Lester, uh, please uh, give us a start. What is the plight? Uh, what is happening? Well, uh Unlike a lot of businesses, we've actually been open the entire time. Um, so we are an essential business in that we're helping people throughout Tulare County and Kings County and uh, going into lower Fresno County. So we're operating, although we are operating on a very tight budget because the average budget that we have been operating under uh, has been about 20000 a month. And March, uh, we had $1,200 of, of income, and then April, it went down to $700. So we have lost at least 98% of our income uh, as of this uh, virus that we're talking about. Unfortunately, a lot of people are struggling, and we understand that. But we're getting busier instead of not being busy, and uh, we're still having to pay bills and we're still having to build ramps and fix fences and paint houses. That costs money. So, Ed, uh, whatever you guys can do, we'd really appreciate it letting people know about this. And uh, we have a golf tournament as an example to raise funds. And uh, our golf tournament was sold out before this whole virus thing. Now it's not sold out. We actually have eight um, openings for teams and uh, if somebody out there wants to uh, sponsor a team or be a corporate sponsor, as I shared with you earlier, we also lost two corporate sponsors totaling $10,000 in income. So that's a big hit for us. And so again, uh, we know that we're doing all we can do to keep our budgets low. We actually had to lay off four of our paid staff. Our golf tournament and our dinner bring in 65% of our income. So we rely pretty significantly on those two events. And this is our third time in scheduling our golf tournament. And we're hopeful that June 19th is the day that we'll be able to have that golf tournament. Very good. Well, uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, we're really blessed at Universal Digest to have a growing network of readers, viewers uh, who really do care. So um, the principals here at Universal Digest really would like you all out there. Thank you for number one for watching and thank you number two for helping hands in the community wherever you can. Uh, the information will be provided in the body of the article accompanying this video. So what else is there um, that we discussed earlier that you'd like to share with us, Lester? Well, I'm just excited because this opens up a lot of opportunities for people to volunteer since they're not working. Um, families, uh, youth groups, uh, and, and so forth. So we are busy trying to complete projects. So if you have an interest and want to put a couple of folks together, uh, we can accommodate you. Uh, we certainly need volunteers in the office. Uh, we need uh, people to help us with the four ministries that we do. Hands in the Community, Kids for the King, Senior Care, and um, Biblical Counseling. So if you have any interest in any of those, uh, of course, uh, call us, let us know. 559-625-3822. And what is your website again? It is hnconline.com. Uh, Org, I believe I better check that because I don't <laughs> well, I honestly yeah. do not go on my website a whole lot and yes it's hnc online all one word dot org very good I uh, run into those same problems so I resemble the remark yeah um, you know if people wanted to donate it's yes. hnc online dot org forward slash donations they can do an e-check they can do a credit card they can do PayPal, um, you know, or if they spend money on Amazon, a lot of people are doing that now. Uh, we have a thing called Amazon Smile where they donate back 5%. Correct. And uh, during this uh, interview, you mentioned that you're actually getting busier. So it would seem to me that during this time where financial stress is abounding due to whatever political maneuverings, etc., to... Uh, in my personal opinion, it's not that of Universal Digest, 
power grabs on all levels. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that you mentioned you're getting busier. So is it busier too because there are people who are not getting resources they normally get? Absolutely, yeah. For instance, um, one of the things that we do is build ramps. Well, um, you know, one or two ramps is pretty common a month. We have six ramps currently, and they average anywhere from eight hundred to fifteen hundred dollars to and build a ramp. And that's not that's, that's just, just the cost for, of parts. That's for materials, mm -hmm. and we have to buy a permit to build the ramp. Yes, the permit definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. the cities around us uh, do not uh, grant us, you know, free free reign on that. They charge just like they would charge you to build one at your home. Well, and and we appreciate um, uh, my spouse of thirty years appreciates the help you gave to one of our friends, mm -hmm. and did attempt to give yeah. um, down in Tulare. So uh, for readers and viewers to know, uh, you do stretch out your helping arms. To Tulare, Tulare County, Kings, Kings County, and then Lower Fresno County, which includes Kingsburg and Reedley, and that's where we stop. Oh, very good. Yeah. Well, um, this word is getting out, and it's a time of dire need for help at the hands of the community. So we really stress that this is that serious. Would you like to enlighten us a little more about the possible future, depending on? Well, um, as I shared with you earlier, Ed, um, we've never in the history of the ministry ever asked directly for money. This is the first time my board has said, we need to tell you how serious this is. If we don't do, for instance, if we had another cancellation of our golf tournament, um, and that could happen, but we're hoping it won't, uh, we probably will not make it through the summer. And we'll never make it to our dinner, which is scheduled right now for October 16th. So that's how serious it is. Uh, and last year we helped over 2,400 families. And um, for folks to realize that this is not a church organization. It's a non-denominational Christian ministry that helps anybody who lives near or below the poverty level. And I have personally seen that in action. It is very helpful. And we've received a lot of beneficial yep. uh, responses from people you've helped. Uh, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, well, if they you? do make a donation, I uh, want them to know that it goes back into the community. Um, we have about 75% um, of our income goes back out into the community to help people to build the ramps, fix the fences, paint the houses, uh, repair things. It still costs us to buy parts for that. And for every $1 that's donated, we're generating $2 of goods and services. And that's because of the volunteers and the donations we do get. Uh, one example, um, I may or may not have shared this in the past, but we built a ramp for a, or not a ramp, uh, a fence for a lady in Tulare on Veterans Weekend. And we got a quote from a professional fence builder of $4,500. With our volunteers and donations of equipment and materials, we built it for less than a thousand dollars. Fantastic. So in that case, we did one to four, four hundred percent increase on your investment. That that's what I call true business ethics. Yes. Yes. And the fact that you know we're not case in point a charity organization. You're a self and a and a help organization that where seventy five percent of all funds received goes back to the community. Uh, that far outweighs what I've seen on larger organizations, yes, especially mail ins where yeah. maybe 5 or 10% yep. goes out. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we, we are blessed to have volunteers. We're blessed to have businesses, churches, service clubs, and individuals all support us. We're, we're not dependent on any federal or state funding. Um, so this is why doing a golf tournament, this is why making a donation makes a substantial difference because we don't get those kinds of funds. And by the way, just for the benefit of our audience, um, we did apply for the, the uh, first round of PPP. We did not receive it. We applied the second time, did not receive it. So we have, we're not in any bailout right now. Uh, and that has been um, well noticed by this author uh, with other organizations in mm -hmm. town, uh, yeah. that the PPP, PPE, however these funds are being distributed, have yeah. not. Right. Uh, the unfortunate part of unemployment at 600 per week is counterproductive in the long run because valued employees 
simply do not want to come back to work. Yeah. We had to lay off our four paid employees uh, back in March when this all came down. And they make way more than I can pay them to come back. Understood. And my last trip here, where we had your first article um, about the history and, and what you do, mm-hmm. um, I came to a full house. Yes. And when I called earlier this morning about directions, you answered the phone directly. Yes. Yeah, we have two people in the office right now. So it's it's killing us. And uh, But we are trusting, and we know where our, our faith is. And it's not in any uh, governments. It's not in any... Uh, organizations it's it's in the Lord and we appreciate um, knowing that others believe in what we believe in absolutely and amen to that because it is princes and principalities yep. being involved even as we speak yes well thank you Ed we thank you Lester this. and God bless and um, hopefully people will respond to this especially in our locale here yeah. although this is being uh, sent globally um, a lot of people here in Fresno Tulare Kings County especially our viewing. So thank you all. And Universal Digest is blessed with all the viewers and the heavy traffic we have been getting. And this is all in giving that we do this. So please do what you can to help Hands on the Community and Lester Moon. Thank you.